Holden Vectra, JS Series, V6, 2001 JS Series. Um, ABS light and uh, traction control light. Yeah, ABS and TC lights come on on the dash on the way home last night. So, uh, uh, look in the owner's manual, as usual. Uh, if the lights come on, take it to your nearest Holden dealer. And have your credit card ready. I don't think so. So, um, I've got to go and uh, test everything. I haven't got any fault codes out of it yet, haven't read anything. Still on, not good. Great light. Still on. Alright, so the next step we have to do now is we have to read fault codes. That's a bit bright there. Alright, you see that? One, two, three, four, five. And you see there, pin six is missing. There is no pin six. So to bridge it for the codes, you've got to bridge it between pin five and pin six. And on cars, this is a 2001 uh, JS series uh, Vectra V6. Uh, if there's no pin six, uh, you're screwed. Can't read the codes. You gotta get a uh, fanged angle code reader. Pushes the plug out, okay, and just lift it away. And there we've got large pins, we've got smaller pins this side. One, two, three, there's no nut pin four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are the ones we're interested in. Sensor six and seven, so let's compare six and seven. Zero, then it goes up to K, and eventually goes up to 1.5 K. Right rear sensor. Shepherd comes up. And one point uh, yeah, 1K. Uh, left rear is eight and nine. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, three and five. Sixty-three ohms on the right hand front wheel sensor. Uh -uh. That's not good. It's out of effect. Alright, we got a problem. So anyway, there's your wheel sensors if you're wondering. Pins. There's the big pins. Four big pins and the small ones from the bottom of the, where the clip side is. One, two, three, four. The one and two is uh, right hand rear. Three and five, left hand front. Six and seven, uh, no, sorry, three and five is right hand front. Six and seven is left hand front. And eight and nine is left hand rear. So, uh, yeah, three and five is out of our own range. It should be a uh, minimum of 0.5. Okay, so it's uh, almost in the shorted. Need a right hand wheel sensor. Right. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're going to take the plug directly from the wheel sensor, okay, and recheck that measurement that we made up at the harness at pins three and five. So we'll go into the one pin. Now, the meter starts at zero and then it slowly builds up to the actual uh, intended value uh, and it has to be um, 0.5k to 3k ohms. That's 0.5k, a k is a thousand ohms, okay? So we'll put the pin in, it starts out near zero, it climbs up and we get to 62 ohms, 62.2 ohms. So that confirms that it's not in the harness up to the computer. So we'll just take this out. Which is the wheel sensor. Just give that a little, a little wiggle. That's got some debris on it. I don't like that kind. So we'll just go over this again. Uh, Yeah, 250 ohms. It gave me uh, 60 ohms last time when I tested it. That's interesting. That's interesting, I'm getting an intermittent thing out. What pro tell is this muck on the end? You know what? I'm going to clean the sensor and see what's going on here. Because, uh, yeah, if it's that crap on the end that's doing this, I'm going to clean the shit off the other one too. Let's investigate that possibility. Yeah, alright, I've got the muck off there. Let's see what our uh, Amos reading is. Okay, what have we got there? 1.47. Now that's our specification. And I'm going to put that back in it and test it. And if it is, I'm uh, taking the other wheel off and I'm going to get a little toothbrush in there and clean the end of the uh, sensor on the other one. Chooch in there with the hose and some uh, the spray and wipe cleaner and just clean the muck off around that. I better turn off the camera before I do that. Okay, I've uh, pushed that back in. You just Reel it in, put the screw in. I'm going to take the other wheel off and uh, clean down the uh, other side of the sensor on the other one and get all that muck off it too with a little brush in there. Alright, let's see what the end of this one's got on it. The value for this one was actually correct, so... Yeah, it's got this, uh... Man, that almost uh, looks kind of metallic. Alright, well, I'm going to give that a wash out in the uh, chute there and wash the end off that too. I'm going to give a little... Just a bit on the lock the ring there. scrub over with the brush over, get all that little metal filing off, whatever the shit was on the end. The ring looks alright. Push it down with your fingers because, I'll tell you why, because it's got a single bolting tab, okay? And if you haven't pushed it all the way in, if you bolt that in hard there, you could well uh, crack the thing. It's got a little, uh, little brass or little bronze uh, insert there to pull it down tight. 
But uh, yeah, if it's kicked over like that and you just force it in with the bolt, you could end up cracking the plastic housing. And uh, yeah, if all you wanted to do was uh, clean it off, well, <laughs> that'd be a bummer. Just took it for a test drive and I am pleased to report lights went off. Traction control and ABS lights are off now. All is good again. All is good. I drove it for a little bit and as soon as I got uh, out of the driveway and down the street the lights went off. That's fixed it. That was pretty cheap. I hope you found that useful and uh, thanks for coming to my Oz Makeup channel. And uh, yeah, if you uh, want to hit the little red button and subscribe, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, otherwise, uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you in the next video. So, catch you later, buds.